Well, I think that uh, the biggest danger is just the overall posture, two things. We, you know, Secretary Panetta has said that we will undermine our national security for generations if we undertake the additional $500 billion in reductions on top of the $487 billion that has been made over the next decade under the Budget Control Act. And I think sometimes people forget that, that there are, um, you know, reductions made through the initial part of the Budget Control Act. Uh, but I think that what, what worries me is what kind of message does that send uh, overall in terms of the rogue actors in the world, the dangers that we face right now. We know that we certainly have um, a resurgence and problems with Al Qaeda in, for example, Mali. We know that they're uh, very engaged in Syria. We, we also know uh, Libya, which we'll, I know we'll talk about uh, today further, and now uh, training, additional training camps in Iraq. Uh, so it's a challenging time. You have Iran marching toward the capability of having a nuclear weapon. Um, if you look at the missile launch by North Korea uh, the other day, successfully, where basically successful uh, launch, which was unusual given their prior attempts of what is essentially an ICBM uh, that could reach the west coast of this country. Uh, and, you know, and then a launch in a satellite, we're not clear what they're going to do with that. But, you know, I think that, that the issues that we face and the challenges we face, none of us in this room would say that this would be a time, for example, that we're um, in such a secure place in this country or without threats around the world that we should be taking a significant peace dividend.